Hello, good day. I've had this telescope for some time now and I thought I'll do a quick review to help you decide if you should buy this or not. This is SV Bonnie's SV503 102 ED refractor telescope, a doublet achromatic refractor. Let's begin by talking about specs. When it comes to refractors, you must pay attention to what glass is being used. This doublet scope uses reputable SFPL51 extra low dispersion ED glass, which helps reduce chromatic aberration significantly. As a result, your image looks very crisp. The aperture of this scope is 102 mm and the focal length is 714 mm which makes the focal ratio about f7. Large aperture lets in more light into the scope resulting in a detailed image. The resolving power of the scope is 1.17 arc second. It comes with a dual focus rack and pinion focuser setup with a 10 to 1 dual speed adjustment knob on the one side which makes fine-tuning very easy. I am impressed by this focuser. If you know anything about the Crayford focuser, it's simply a nightmare for astrophotography because it slips and is sloppy. This rack and pinion focuser on the other hand is solid and can hold more than enough payload. So a big tick to SV Bonnie on the focuser. I particularly like the fine tuning knob which helps me get focus dead right. The focuser doesn't slip, I haven't noticed any backlash or jamming, it's buttery smooth. The focuser comes with a locking screw so you can lock it spot on. It has a generous 90mm back focus with a clearly marked scale which allows for repeatable setups. My favorite bit about the focuser is that you can easily rotate it 360 degrees with the rotation ring. And that's amazing for setting the orientation of the camera and framing your target. No need to take the camera out and manually set the orientation and lose the focus. Just unscrew this and rotate it to your desired location and screw it back. Very convenient. To connect your camera, you can use a T-ring, use the provided 2 inch to 1.25 inch adapter. With my DSLR in, it's a pretty solid system. Nothing is shaking or rattling or fiddly, which is what you want. When not using the scope, you can use the solid dust cap that comes with it. Also, the provided dovetail bar is long enough to balance the mount properly tube rings are felt lined and adjustment knobs are large and easy to grip. It comes with inbuilt extendable dew shield which is very convenient to stop stray light coming into your tube. That's excellent. In terms of aesthetics and feel it both feels and looks solid. There are no plastic parts. It has a reasonably stylish finish tube looks good quality material giving the impression that these are made to last. It deceptively looks uh, heavy but actually it's quite light. It's about 4 kgs according to my scales. In terms of images that it produces, I thought I would show you a single frame that I took with this scope yesterday. Stacking can manipulate results, so I thought the best way to check the scope is to see single unstacked image. I took this photo with the Canon 1100D, and this is only 300 seconds exposure. I didn't use flattener for it, again for the same reason, because I didn't want the flattener to interfere with my test. As you can see, there is no chromatic aberration, no sign of fringing, and it produces attractive looking images. I'm quite happy with how this single frame turned out. Overall, I can say that I love this scope. I would not have any hesitation in recommending this to you. It produces good images, it has nice glass,
Extendable dew shield is amazing. Focuser is buttery smooth and is overall sturdy. Is it perfect? Of course not. I for one am disappointed that finder scope or finder adapter doesn't come with it. That said, for the price of 500 US dollar and quality, I think this is a very, very good deal.